What is going on? So we've got some huge news from the SEC on some new rules that are going to impact people who are actively moving in and out of positions, and especially those on small accounts and cash accounts. In this video, I wanna explain exactly what's happening and then how that can benefit you or what that actually means for you as someone who is actively investing or trading in the markets. So let's dive right in. So here is the current look or the current document. Essentially, the SEC finalizes rules to reduce risks in clearance and settlement. So there's actually some backend things that this is going to help them with that uh, maybe a lot of us don't really care about or realize because we just see things like T plus one, T plus two, and we go, oh, this is awesome, right? So I'll understand, we'll, we'll dive into what that means in a second. So essentially, they're gonna be shortening the settling process for securities transactions from two business days to one. So what does that mean? T plus two will now become T plus one at some point here in the near future. Now, T plus one means this. If I buy a stock today, okay, and I sell that stock today, let's say I bought it for a dollar, I sell it for a dollar. It's a you know, small cap, right? Tomorrow morning, that $1 that I used for that transaction will now be available as settled funds. However, if I buy and sell that stock the same day, after I sell it, take a daily trade and I sell it, I will have $1 less of settled funds in a cash account. If I'm using a margin account, this isn't like a huge deal because you can pretty much go in and out and trade as much as you want anyway, unless you're under and you're bound by the PDT rule, which essentially tells you, hey, if you've got less than $25,000 in a margin account, you cannot day trade more than three times in a five day span and every day or you know, that resets as time goes on. So if I take a day trade on Monday, Wednesday, Friday during this five day week, then on Monday, I'll have one available. I'll have two in the back on the back pocket that I've taken. One will become available as it will be lapping over the prior Monday's day trade. Okay. So the T plus two now is going to now stand or no, will no longer be a thing for securities transactions. The thing is, you may think, well, this is a real thing. Well, no. For options, for brokers like Webull, I believe Robin and TD Merchant, like all the most brokers out there these days have T plus one for option trade. So if you trade an option or if you have a cash account and you trade an option today and you spend $100 on an option, you sell it for break even, you, you sell it for $100. Now you have $100 less of settled cash today. That tomorrow, that settled cash is available and you can go, right? You can trade that $100 again. With T plus two, if you were trading shares of a stock, you bought a stock on Monday, you would have to wait for those settled funds. Let's say you sold it Monday afternoon. You buy it Monday morning, sell it Monday afternoon. Under T plus two, if you bought a stock, you'd have to wait till Wednesday for those funds to be settled funds. Now T plus one means next day. So what does that mean? If you have $1,000, if you have $500, if you have a small account with $100, if you have a, an account with $20,000, you can now essentially day trade almost as much as you want. Now, not almost, not as much as you want because you are bound by using settled cash, okay? But with proper risk management and proper rules, it's not a big deal anyway, in my opinion. It really is not a big deal. And the PDT rule, I think, is a thing of the past. It's obviously important for some, but I think, to be honest, once this happens, it's something that is absolutely not an excuse as to why you're losing money or you're doing this or, you're doing, oh, I can't day trade. Well, yes, you can. Go to a cash account, relax, size down a little bit. You'll have as much trading as you potentially could, or you have a bunch of trades there. Let's say you have a $1,000, okay? Break your trades up into $200 increments and take five trades a day, or that's your kind of your cap. You can't take more than five a day. Maybe you know yourself. You say, hey, when I usually take two to three, I'm good. When I take more than three, I usually go red. Great. It's a great way to cap yourself off and uh, avoid kind of going down and spiraling, right? Which is using a cash account. So that's what you need to know. And I think it's a big deal. It's a, it's a big deal because when, when, we come, when we come down to it, this again will no longer really have, you're not going to have many restrictions, especially for those who trade small caps. People always be like, oh man, well, you have the options. It's great for options, but I don't trade options. You know? I want to trade small caps. Well, now you can, right? And day trade them today, that money's available tomorrow. And if you trade, you're like, oh, you know, I don't like options. I want the three X ETFs. So I want to play leverage ETFs and day trade those versus trading like SPY and QQQ. Well, great. Now you can. 
Trade them today. They're available. The funds are available again tomorrow. Boom. So this is some big news. Hope this helps you guys out. And uh, curious your thoughts on the, in this in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts on this if you're going to be taking advantage of this going forward. And down at the bottom, they explain uh, when. So the final rules will become effective 60 days after publication in the Federal Register. Uh, and the compliance date is the, the, the final compliance date or whatever is May 28th, 2024. So about a month and a year and a couple months, worst case scenario, but hopefully sooner. So hope this helps and I will see you guys in a future video. Peace.